All right, well, here's a video on the cowling on this Continental IL-370 conversion. So as you can see, it has the old hump on it from the C-175s. This is, I remember this is a P-172D, so it's not a 175, it's a P model, P-172D. Built off the same certificate that the C-175s are. The three, what is it, 317A. So, um, it is a tight fit. Um, you can kind of see the opening that we have there and how that bump, I was trying to use the original cowling versus the, like an older model 175 with the big shark mouth, fish mouth, the big opening, which is what Stutes kind of recommended, but <laughs> they're pretty hard to find. So we just uh, went ahead and, mo and modified this one. So um, as you can see, we needed blisters on it. Um, and then the other difficult part was um, we have the seam here that we have to split that. Um, um, trying to buy those was really difficult. I had to make these. Part of the problem is this radius on top of the hood starts really going over top where the, the fiberglass ones uh, just wouldn't fit at all. They wanted to kind of stick out a little bit on here and you just couldn't get those to contour in. The other thing, those fiberglass ones are kind of mounted on the inside of the cowling and then they just kind of protrude out. But this is very tight, um, very, very tight in there. Uh, I kind of need, gonna need all the room we can, we can scavenge there. Um, the other thing was the front here, this air box. Um, we kind of, I, I made that up to bump that out. Um, <laughs> after the fact, uh, Dave Stute said, oh, we got a different air box that might fit that a little bit better. So uh, that way we don't have to have this tunnel sticking out. Um, that might be an option later on to mod that so we don't have that sticking out like that. But as of right now, it's going to get run. Uh, closed up the old exhaust um, right here. Mine were oblongs. We actually had to rivet in a piece and then center punch a hole in that to, uh, to cut that uh, new one or to cut that round and then get a piece to fit back in there. And then there's the three inch exhaust tip that's coming out that's got to get cut in. So that was, that's kind of a feat trying to get that to uh, come out in the right hole. And then uh, of course I have the uh, cowl flaps that uh, the side piece kind of goes up into there that uh, could almost, it doesn't hit the exhaust, but it's really close on that. So one of the things, one of the things Dave Stutes has done with this engine is he has uh, got some turn into it to the to the right wing. I I'm, I haven't gone into details with him why he did that. I can only imagine it's because of the extra horsepower um, and P factor that the that this bigger engine is producing. And I would say on takeoff, it's probably a good thing he did that because. Um, it, it flies really nice and, and straight and true uh, coming out of the hole. Um, the only problem is, is you can kind of see the cowling is off just a little bit. And that is with shifting the cowling, shifting the cowling that way. If you guys remember on the, on the 175s, we have these, these cowl mounts that are on rubber brackets, like a Lord mount almost right here one here and then one down here and what we actually did is we we sh um we shim that out that mount out just a little bit you can kind of see right here we did have we had to put uh a different bolts in there for the engine mount we're not moving the engine mount just the the cowl mount and uh that way we were able to put a little bit of turn into that or else that cowling would be 
off even more and it you wouldn't be able to this side you'd have a whole cylinder sticking out <laughs> sticking out this side um i didn't really know how else to do it i uh if you have the the big mouth on the older 175s you've got enough room in there uh to move that side to side but this newer cowling on the newer 175s and the p models there would be no room to do that if you get your hands on an old an old cowling might be a a better easier way to go i'm not sure but uh anyway that is uh all i have to say about it just thought i'd give you guys a little rundown to, to show you how it how it actually fit in there and it wasn't that it wasn't that bad but it gets to be a lot of work when you're trying to trying to build this and then trying to get these and then i couldn't find anybody um um to uh make me any of these if you could get someone to make those that would make it a lot easier i spent quite a bit of time trying to get those trying to get those built but uh like i said a little harder to to have that where you gotta split that cowl right there so anyway see you later bye